Welcome into the breakdown presented by Microsoft Teams. I'm Erin Summers, joined by Saints Hall of Famer, six-time Pro Bowler, Leroy Glover. Leroy, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. I'm doing fantastic and thanks for having me. In 2000, when you were a player, you had 17 sacks. You were the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year. You definitely know how to produce on the football field. What does this defense need to do to force some takeaways? Yeah, ultimately, it's going to come down to one play at a time. You know, they're going to be in good positions because of the way that they're coached and the scheme and the style of play that they like to play. Now it's just going to be that those one or two opportunities, once again, going back to some of those factors for success defensively. They've got to find a way to take the ball from take the ball away from opposing offenses and get the ball back to the offense. Looking at the upcoming matchup against the LA Rams, the Saints have been dealing with injuries. The Rams are definitely dealing with their own bevy of issues. How pivotal is this game for the Saints for them to get out there and get a win? Yeah, I think it's going to be a do a lot for them in a lot of different ways. Number one, their confidence. You know, you can never discount the Super Bowl winning team. You know, they are still the Super Bowl winning team until another team comes in and wins it this year. And so to try to get a win at home versus a solid team, regardless of the injuries, because every team right now at this stage of, of the season has some shape, form, or fashion of injuries. And so you got to go out there with 11 that you have, try to execute a game plan and a scheme, and hopefully the ball bounces your way once or twice. We've heard from a lot of the captains, the leaders on this team, defensive end Cam Jordan, running back Alvin Kamara, linebacker Demario Davis. What have you liked about their leadership this season? Yeah, I think when things are getting a little shaky, we're going to see that with each and every team in the National Football League. At some point in the time, things aren't going to go your way. You're going to have to face a little bit of adversity. But that's why you lean on that veteran leadership. Demario Davis, a, a gentleman who you spoke of, is phenomenal in that role. You know, whether it be a vocal style of leadership or if a play needs to be made on the field, he is the type of guy that you need on your defense who can really rally guys around. Before I let you go, just want to check in. You're starting as a coach now with the XFL. You've had some time with the NFL. How much are you looking forward to that opportunity? It's exciting, you know, just getting back to ball, you know, just getting back to trying to inspire a group of, 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 of men, for lack of a better term, of, of young, hungry men who want to be successful, who, who think they have a vision of success. And now it's my role as a coach to try to help them get there. I appreciate the time. It's always great catching up with Saints legends and former Hall of Famers. Thanks for having me.